Hello and welcome to Europedia. My name is Aman Sharma and I am your mentor for CSE at Europedia. So, uh, ISRO has released a notification regarding the uh, recruitment and there are various number of vacancies in that and in that there are also 47 CSC vacancies. So, the point of this uh, today's video is that in the notification that they released first, there was a mention of allied topics. So as you know, ISRO is, uh, uh, if you see the previous questions or previous uh, exam pattern of ISRO, ISRO is uh, basically uh, the exam can be seen as the, uh, uh, for its randomness. So they will ask random uh, type of questions from any subject and they will not give you a predefined weightage of any subject. So they, sometimes they will ask a large number of questions from ELGO, sometimes they will ask large number of questions from DS. Sometimes they will ask a large number of questions from operating system. So randomly they will select the number of questions from some subjects. <clears throat> now in the notification they mentioned allied topics. Now allied topics are what? That they have allowed other than computer science, they have allowed uh, other branches also that if you are having uh, your B.Tech degree in the specialization of B.Tech, uh, in the specialization of sorry, this uh, big data, or for example, uh, cyber security, then your cloud computing, then your uh, information technology, software systems, machine learning or AI. So these are the some of the topics mentioned there. Big data, cyber security, cloud computing, IT, software, ML and AI. Now, Today they removed that line from the uh, from the notification that allied uh, about these allied topics, but they are still allowing the branches from these allied subjects to uh, enroll for the test. So this means these if even if they have removed the uh, uh, weightage uh, the line of the weightage of allied topics, still there will be questions asked from this. So these are some core subjects which are from gate that you, when you prepare for gate you study these kind of subjects but these questions will also have some weightage and you don't need in-depth knowledge of them but you need some basic understanding of these subjects B these are also very important because even if they ask 10 to 15 questions from these it will carry a huge weightage in the exam because exam is of only 100 marks and 15 marks in uh, 100 marks exam uh, can decide whether you are going for the interview or not and also this time there is a 50-50% weightage of interview and your uh, paper so even so if you uh, score some good marks in the exam it will have impact on your final selection because 50 percent marks weightage uh, will be from the exam now these topics you need you cannot leave these topics you cannot be selected selective in uh, in uh, pre in preparation of isro because of the randomness of the exam you cannot be like this that I will uh, prepare this topic ELGO because it contains more weightage and I will uh, I will not uh, prepare operating system. No, you cannot do that because sometimes they will ask three questions from this, eight questions from this. Other time they can ask eight questions from this and three questions from this. So you don't, you cannot be selective for this exam. You have to prepare all the subjects and you have to prepare as much as sub subjects as you can. So these are the subjects LI topics though they have removed it from the line from the notification still the, uh, the, uh, the students who have enrolled for these courses and have degrees in these courses will also be eligible. So questions from these LI topics will also be present in the exam and as you can see these are seven to eight subjects. So even if two or three questions come, come from each subject it will still go up to 15 to 20 questions. So these are very important you cannot leave them. So time is a very important factor here. Uh, time will play a very important role in this because in two to three months the ISRO will uh, release the, uh, will have the exam for this uh, vacancy and you cannot be uh, thinking like to uh, skip this topic and uh, do this or do this or skip this topic. You cannot be doing this. So we have launched a module on uh, Europedia where we will be covering all the topics whether it is core subjects, whether these are allied subjects and all the necessary uh, uh, you know, necessary uh, information about the technical aspects or the conceptual as uh, aspects or the theoretical aspects or you can say the, uh, the numerical solving skills will be covered in that module. So I hope you like the video. So keep watching and keep following. Thank you.